Hey, Mel Crafting here, and today I'm making sourdough bread from scratch. Well, sourdough cob loaf to be exact. This is also the first of a few COVID-19 NZ lockdown videos, which will include a bunch of baking and other things I did to pass the time while stuck in my bubble. As always, head over to my blog, craftyepicurean.blogspot.com for more information. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of what I get up to. Anyway, let's get started. So this is my Levain after 12 hours overnight. I use one tablespoon of starter mixed with 75 grams each of rye flour and water. I've also mixed together a brine solution of one tablespoon of salt to 50 grams of water, which you'll see me stir a few times during this video just to dissolve that salt. I'm using 700 grams of white high grade flour for today's loaf, but I have found that you can substitute up to 50% with wholemeal flour in this recipe and still get great results. In a minute I'm about to give another stir to that salt to help it along and I'm checking the temperature of the water I'm about to use. So 28.8 degrees C. Anything 26 to 30 degrees Celsius I've found is pretty good for this recipe. I'm measuring 475 grams of water. I'm just going to try and get this exact. Oops. Went a bit over, so I'll just fix that. Then I'm going to add my awesomely puffy levain to the water. Oh, and just before I do that, I'm just going to explain that I'm using a rubber spatula so that I can squish out any lumps in the mixture as I try to dissolve the levain in the water. So this is what you should end up with. So there are a few lumps, but that's okay. Just get to a point where it's mostly dissolved in that water. And then you want to go ahead and add your flour. So you just dump it all in. And then mix it through. Now at this stage, you don't want to mix it too much, but you do want to mix it enough so that all that flour is incorporated into the wet mixture. And what you end up with is something like this that looks pretty rough but has come together. So it does look a bit lumpy but it is meant to look like that. And it is still quite wet. That is your auto lays. Covering it with a tea towel or some plastic wrap and just put it in a warm place. For me, that's always the oven, so it's out of the way of the kitchen while it's doing its thing. Leave it for about half an hour up to four hours. Okay, so I've left that for about an hour and you end up with something like that. Now I'm gonna add my brine solution to my auto lease. I'm gonna use a rubber spatula to initially incorporate it, but the best way is to use your hands to pinch and stretch the dough and incorporate all that brine solution into your mixture. And you do end up with something quite wet. And now begins the folding stage. So you get your hand underneath, pull it up and you stretch it across. And you do this four times each time. So you rotate the bowl 90 degrees, pull it up, stretch it across. Again, rotate it 90 degrees, reach down, pull it up, pull it across. Leave it for half an hour, bring it back, come do it again. So you do your four folds, and then you cover the bowl, put it in a warm place, half an hour, leave it for half an hour, come back, and do it again. And you do that six times, so it takes about two and a half hours. Once you're done, you end up with something like this, which you divide into two to make two cobwebs. Just shape them into rounds and then leave them for half an hour on your bench. And then you want to come back and do your final shaping. I apologize for the finger in the video, that is my toddler filming. And so you fold it from left to right, get as many of those as you can in, and then roll it from the top downwards. That's just how I shape my dough. But you can do it any other way you wish. 
then make it into a round for your final cob and dust it with flour. Now I've made my own probing baskets here which is basically by rubbing tea towels with flour and then putting them in a bowl. Put your dough upside down into the probing basket, cover it, leave it for three to four hours and then you end up with something like this. Then you want to place that into a preheated Dutch oven inside a 250 degree C oven. Cook it for 20 minutes, you end up with something like that. That's with the lid on, take the lid off and bake it again for 10 minutes. And voila, one sourdough cob loaf that looks delicious. And here I'm going to give you some close ups. Here is it cut, so you can see all those wonderful holes that is classic of an artisan one. Just a quick view of some bread rolls that I made at another day with some other sourdough. But then this is the second loaf I made with that same batch. And that is how I made my sourdough cob loaf. For more information, head over to my blog, craftyepicurean.blogspot.com. And of course, if you like what you see here, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I hope you drop by again.